mangroves are a tropical ecosystem amongst the least known on the planet. These forests are like no others. They grow with their roots in water, rocked by the rhythm of tides, and are made up of unusual trees, mangroves. The only ones capable of living in salt water and breathing thanks to their aerial roots. Sometimes drowned and sometimes dry, muddy, silty. The mangrove is impenetrable, mysterious and hostile. But for those who spend time there, it offers a protective space, a sanctuary rich in many precious resources. Aida El Ali has dedicated his life to the preservation of the mangroves of Senegal. There's an aigrette taking off. A goliath heron. A kingfisher. And there you can see a snake bird. Birds with very long necks. When they're in the water, you can't really tell. Mangroves are really very rich, very wild. There are many, many birds to be seen. Lots of life. The density of the mangrove swamp makes it a final refuge for many hunted species. It dived there, and you can see it leaving over there. You can see the traces of the crocodile there. It's a very great diversity of life, truly phenomenal biodiversity from the leaves down to the organic matter in which a whole ecosystem lives. The mangrove swamp of the Sine and Saloum rivers was first a national park and has been classed as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. Sited 100 kilometers south of Dakar, it's a patchwork of islands and forest with its roots in water stretching over 60,000 hectares. Mangrove swamps are forests of mangroves, trees which live in the changing tides and are gifted with vast capacities. They adapt to salt, breathe, and are nourished by strange, stilt-like roots which let them live, in a way, on poles. These mangroves nearly disappeared in the dramatic drought of the 1970s and 80s. On the banks of the Casamance River grows the second largest mangrove swamp of Senegal. At Massasum, around 100 kilometers from the ocean, this mangrove swamp was transformed 50 years ago into an immense mangrove cemetery. Living with their heads under the burning sun and their roots in salt, mangroves are adapting acrobats, but all the same, they come up against certain limits. Imagine this place crawling with life, with trees, fish everywhere, prawns, animals, birds, a whole living ecosystem, and see what it has become today. The drought which hit Senegal very hard in the past dramatically reduced the flow of the rivers. The volumes of fresh water which reduced salinity fell a long way. As a result, salinity increased and the mangroves died. When the mangroves die, like they did here, there are no more rice paddies nearby and everything becomes a desert.
the building of roads in the region blocked the circulation of water and made the situation worse. If we manage to save this mangrove here at Masasum, where it's eaten away by salt, hope can exist that it's possible everywhere. With the help of Senegalese doctoral students, Luc de Croix, hydrologist, has been studying the most endangered zones for over 20 years. pH is 7.7, .7, temperature 28.5. Salinity, 105. 105 is a very high level, that's three times the salinity of seawater. And since it's been years like that, that explains why the mangrove swamp has completely perished. All these landscapes of dead mangrove are due to years of drought where the salt was no longer washed away by rainwater and runoff. It has accumulated, which has brought about the death of the mangroves and makes it impossible to cultivate rice. The mangrove is a surprising tree. Each species has developed a strategy all of its own to resist salt. Jean Goep, ecological engineer, is fascinated by the star of adaptation. Mangroves have developed methods to fight against salt. The white mangrove has decided to sweat it out. It sweats from both sides, from the lower side of the leaf, above the leaf, and below the leaf. The crystals can be seen very clearly. And that's in fact why it's called the white mangrove, because from a way off, all the leaves are covered in salt, and so it appears white. The red mangrove absorbs water through its little mouths and has a filter to reduce the salt as much as possible. Unfortunately, these filters don't completely remove the salt, so it has another complementary strategy which consists of concentrating the salt that has been absorbed in a leaf, such as this one that is dying, because it is full of salt and in this way it manages to reduce the amount of salt. The other speciality of the mangrove is its reproduction. The mangrove is the only tree I know of which has its offspring germinate on it. And so that seedling, when it's ready, naturally detaches itself, falls and floats vertically in the water. When the tide drops, it anchors itself in the hole of a fiddler crab.